Welcome to the Edupedia World, Virtual World Free Education. Hi, I am Suraya Said, Microsoft Certified Trainer. While working in a worksheet, you can transfer data from one location to another. You can either copy or cut the original information and paste it to another location. So let's know what is the difference between copy and cut. When you move data to another location, the data is removed from its original location and placed at the location you specify. But sometimes you may want to have the same information in several places within the worksheet. It is best to copy and paste the information instead of retyping it. There are several methods for transferring data. You can use copy and paste or cut and paste from the ribbon as long as you can use the copy and paste cut and paste from the right click shortcut menu or you can drag and drop your data also you can use the keyboard shortcuts here is my data and i want to cut or to move this data so i should select the range of data to be copy or cutted from its original location then the first way to move the data is to use the cut button in the ribbon then going to the second place where I want to paste it let's click F8 then click the paste button to paste the data here we can notice that the data disappeared from its original location and it is moved to the new one but if we undo this operation click undo press escape to remove the dotted uh, square the same data but now we are going to copy it again select the data click copy then press the second location starting from F8 and click paste now we have the data twice the first location its original location and we have it again in the second location uh, note that we can paste several times if you make any cut or copy procedure you can paste it several times anywhere okay we can cancel what we have made make undo until step number no no we will make again redo yes until this point click escape now let's try the second method to make a copy and paste by using the right click shortcut then right click your data the shortcut menu opened and we have the cut and copy options click cut then go to the second place and click 
right click then click paste again we have moved our data completely from its original location to the second new, lo new location again right click our data now we will try copy to a new location right click then paste so we have the data twice in two locations the third way for moving and copying our data is to drag and drop your data first select the range of data then point to the edge of your data you can see the cursor now is four arrows click and drag your data from its border to the new lo location drag and drop will move your data and move equal cut but if you want to copy your data by using drag and drop you must hold the control key while dragging you can notice the plus sign on the cursor now start dragging from the edge so our data is duplicated and we now have two copies of our data in different locations the last way to copy and cut your data is to use the keyboard shortcuts the keyboard shortcut for cutting or moving is control X select your data then control X from the keyboard go to the second location then use also the shortcut for pasting which is control plus V so our data is moved and the shortcut responsible for copying our data is control C select your data press control and hold hold down control while pressing the C key then go to the other location and press control V for pasting your data any data you have cut it or copied is stored in a central location named clipboard so we can open from the dialog box launcher in the clipboard group and this is the clipboard our bag in which we save any data we cut or copy the clipboard capacity is 24 item we can store 24 item cut or copied from our worksheet then you can paste this data anytime you want to paste so try to make many uh, cut or copy procedures just this number of data copy now we will cut this 20 
data and now we will make cut again now we will copy we just make copy or cut to uh, make the clipboard not empty so if we make paste now which data from this data in the clipboard will be pasted let's try by any method like right click this cell and make paste and the last data we have cut or copied is which one that will be pasted and from this point we can see the advantage of clipboard that you can you can reach recently cut or pasted items now i want to uh, copy this information i will click it from the clipboard uh, or i can copy this data not limited to the sequence now i can paste any data whenever i have cut it or pasted it i can use my data anytime this is the last six data i have cut it or pasted i can uh, use any one of them not in the same order of copying i can paste all data in one time and also i can clear all the clipboard then my clipboard is empty thank you for watching edu video world videos see you at the next video